Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, The Joy of Painting with Eamon Devane. Today we're going to make a nice little mountain scene. Are you the new Bob Ross? I'm the new Bob Ross. Uh, what's the music that goes along with it? It's going to be starting with some red. What's What music goes along with it? Gonna wanna slightly brush in the, the sky. Uh, just what what music do, usually goes with Bob Ross? Just a nice sunset sky. What? As you can see, I'm using the technique where you paint. Now that we've brought some red in, we're going to bring some yellow in, really bring it to life. And I'm going to use my special tool. You can really see how the that, that, uh, skies just lighten up. See, I'm really bringing out my uh, brush brush strokes. So, uh, you can really feel the, the warmth of the sunset. You know, you bring some texture in, you make it come alive. And now that we've uh, brought in the sky, I'm gonna use my black and uh, and some some scissors. Uh, you can just they're just cheap cheap scissors. And we're gonna use some of the black paint. We're gonna just bring in. Um, some mountains. Just uh, you just play with it like how how you want to. Uh. This is harder than I thought it would be. Don't worry too much about making it uh, all solid. Just work on the on the on the line. Really make them come alive. I think I understand why people use actual tools for painting that are meant for painting. Right, I'm just making this one nice and steep. I'm just bringing it out.
There we go. Now we've got a nice ridge line to play with. You really just you just want to have fun with it, you know? This is your this is your little world that you're creating. And you know you can just have a, have a lot of fun with it. Oh. You start to fill in the mountains here. Maybe I want to use an actual paintbrush. Probably be good. We can, we can start to really just bring in the mountainside, just, just bring it all the way down here, and from here we can we can start to start to set up for where we're really going with this painting, and we can start to start to take some of our next color we're going to be using some blue uh, to set up a nice lake in the in the foreground here uh, I'm gonna go try to find another paintbrush Well guys, it looks like I don't have any more big paintbrushes, but you work with what you got and you, you do your best. Oh, it's really a deep, oh snap, <laughs> deep blue I'm playing with here, I don't want to make it too deep, uh, but I'll just bring in colors you want to play with. Totally broke that thing. But that's all right. What we want to do next here is start to start to bring in some of that, some of those sky colors into the into the water here, so that you got the the effect of a reflection, you know. Just that's not working very well, but that's okay. And then I can, uh, and then I can use, use the next color. I got some white here, and uh, you can try to use. The other part of this, uh, this, this scissors here to try to bring in some snow, you know? Just make these mountains three-dimensional. This is not working very well. Crazy looking shit. <laughs> 
No, you were not supposed to curse, Dad. Uh, really just bringing it to life over here. Uh. There we can see. I accidentally mixed the black and the white, but it's all right. Is it profane? It's not profane, it's all gross. Well, I don't know if I want the gross things to be in this video. Alright, well I'll tell you later. Okay. Wait, but now everyone's interested. What was it? Uh, now we're going to attempt to make a brown color. Start to bring in some trees. And uh, just make it a happy little tree. You can go left and right, left and then right. And uh, wow, um, I don't have any green, but that's okay. I didn't think that through very well. Uh, we have a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue. We can, we can get some green going. Some green. I'm gonna make the tree come to life. Uh, what the heck? Uh, how we can I should have done that probably before the tree, but you know. How did he do this? How did Bob Ross do that? Um, I'm bringing some white. Let's lighten it up a little bit. And that part of the painting never happened. Uh, and then, oh my gosh.
use the bottom part of this to bring in a shoreline. And uh, then we're gonna add in some waves that's crashing against the shoreline. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna use a little bit of green that we created earlier. Um, which is now a different shade for some reason. We're just bringing some bushes. It's really way too dark. Bring us some bushes along the shoreline. Just happy little bushes. And then, then we're gonna bring in, we're gonna bring in a tree, a nice little tree. This is not going very well. better now. It's okay, now the tree has a friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's really professional. <laughs> uh, Ma, how do you make trees? Bob Ross can chew. There, we're going to bring in some trees along the shoreline. Uh, there, then we got some trees. The trees are a little artistic. See, look at that. That's uh, that's something. Um, and then we're gonna over here. We're gonna bring in some more trees, and we're gonna just make them a little darker, a little darker, but have some light tones too. Oh, just dark, I guess. And we really just want to darken the sky a little bit with the uh, red, dark red. What am I doing? I broke another one. Oh. That's another paintbrush? No, the, this thing. What? What do you I don't even know what it is. A uh, foam pad? Foam pad. <laughs> um. Paper technique with toilet paper. Where are you? 
just do something with the toilet paper. It really just brings out the color. Hmm. And uh, what we're gonna do next here is we're gonna we're gonna just bring in some beautiful light green, and we're gonna bring in some some nice little some nice little bushes over here, and have them go all the way up here. Yeah, kind of lean in against. And then, whoosh. and then, uh, then we're gonna use one of our smaller brushes. We're just gonna, gonna draw in a little happy, happy sailboat over here, and uh, just gonna have it. Look at that. Nice little sail. You don't want the sail to be alone, so you gotta draw a little friend for a sail. There's two sails on the little sailboat. And uh and then we're gonna I'm just gonna use a little bit of a little bit of detail on that light green. We're gonna just draw in some some texture to this, whatever the heck these are. There we go. Now we got a little bit of texture going in those. And uh and I have no idea what we're going to do next, but uh we're going to do something next. Bring in some flowers, that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna bring some flowers right along the edge here. Some nice red flowers, and then we're gonna bring in some, some blue flowers right over on this edge. Those look black, but they're they're blue, I assure you. Oh, there we go. It's also nice because it keeps and then we can bring in some well. purple. If we mix the blue and the red, we get purple. So the very dark purple. I'm gonna bring some light green. Yeah, look at that. Bring in some purple flowers. And then we're also gonna bring in some right. some white flowers. This is a stuff sack, uh, not really it's more of a bag. Uh, pillowcase would work, it's for the clothing uh, that you carry. It's just nice to be able to compartmentalize some of your clothing so it can get pulled out and put into your backpack in here. Alright, waterproof jacket. Uh, didn't rain a lot in Nepal when I was there. You could possibly leave this at home if you're feeling bold and you want to save some weight. Insulated 
jacket. Love this thing. Packs down fairly small and it's really warm. It also dries really quickly. Um, there you got a little bit of extra texture and uh, interest um, going on there. Now I'm gonna use this last, as well, like this last little bit to just spice up some of the some of the there we go and uh and just like that uh we have a wonderful uh, painting guys uh i hope all of you guys were uh able to follow along with my wonderful painting skills uh <laughs> um I'll, I'll see everyone next time on season 14 episode 78 of uh the joy of painting with Eamon like Devane.